Hey, hey everyone! Angelo O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I brought with me... Damien! Damien, my sidekick. And we're over here in Sunstone, a newer master plan community in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley, right off of the 95 and Kyle Canyon Road. And Sunstone's been around for a year, two years now. And they just opened up this community called Estrella by Woodside Homes. And Woodside Homes also has Luna, which is an all two story community. So they have three floor plans to choose from. Two of them are modeled and they have three different elevations, which is the modern Spanish, which probably is this one. They have the modern regional and the western regional, which I have no idea what that means. I bet you this is a western regional because the asymmetrical roof lines, I could be wrong. Anyway, folks, we're gonna take a tour of the Cielo Plan 3, which is 2054 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, a flex space, an office, and um, a 22 foot deep two car garage with generous storage space which has an option of converting it into 24 feet, which I love it. I love that the standard is 22 feet and not 20 or 21, and that you can expand it to 24 feet for your toys. Right, Damien? Toys, I love toys. <laughs> I love to so the thing about this is some people don't like having the door to the side and they don't like it on the side of the house and they don't like seeing that the most of the house is just the garage. But for me, the advantage point of having the front door on the side is what? Well, packages is really good because when they get delivered, they're hiding. That's hiding, one thing. exactly. Mm -hmm. To prevent package thieves to seeing what type of packages you have. So I think that's an excellent point. I don't know if I mentioned the price. So the base price as of today is starting at 479990 So let's take a peek. Let's see how this is. Oh, where do I go? Let's start out in the kitchen area since it's right here. Let's start out. So as you walk in, you have this open floor plan. I felt like the other one was bigger. Yes. This one is a little crammed mm -hmm. to me, even though it's bigger square footage. Whoops. I'll get that. Sorry. I feel that this one, oh, it's only what? 34 square feet bigger. I kind of like the other one better so far. Anyway, but I like this island with the sink in the middle and it's a waterfall island. Obviously that's an upgrade. And then you have the beautiful, do you not like the microwave right there? Um, this is such a pain in the butt if you want to access anything or do anything. I think the microwave would have been better if you would have put it down below or instead of having a double oven, uh, but however, there could be a different appliance packages where that could be an option. So you never know. But right now this one is set up with the double oven, the beautiful cooktop and range hood, GE profile appliances. This is a cafe um, vent hood though. That's kind of interesting. And then the double ovens, which I love having a double oven. I mean, I don't know what I would do without having my double ovens. Once you have one, it's... Yeah, you can't go back. Yeah. Once you have a double oven, you can't go back. And even though we're not major cooks, it's nice to have when we want to cook one thing and Speak another thing. <laughs> what? You don't cook much. <laughs> Those are not upgraded soft closed cabinets, but that's an option. Um, again, a little, little or pantry. And this glass feature is probably an upgrade or it may not even be an option. Then this is a monogram refrigerator with no handles, so you can't open it up. <laughs> so this community opened up about two weeks ago. They have, oh, I was gonna ask how many lots they had. Um, they have about 20 inventory homes that are gonna be moving ready either from now until July or August timeframe where all options have been selected. And then they're gonna have also four dirt lots where you can build from the ground up. Now the lot premiums here are anywhere between seven thousand and twenty-five thousand, depending on the size of the lot and the location. So in the previous video of the other model, I showed you the different texture to the wall. This is called an orange peel, I do believe, 
and this is the square edge corners. The other one had the more rounded edges with the traditional baseboards. So this has the three inch square baseboards um, and that's an upgrade now. Also, if you want them bigger, that's an upgrade as well. I do believe this little cabinet area is gonna be an upgrade. So you have the primary, in all these homes in Vegas, the primary bedroom is always to the back of the house, no matter what. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. A little like kitchenette area to the patio. If you had a pool, you can just come right in here. Yeah. Obviously, this is an upgrade. <laughs> Everything's an upgrade. They, that's where they nickel and dime you. So in my opinion, I think it's better to buy a quick move-in or move-in ready home that has all the upgraded options selected because that's when you're going to be able to get some deals. When you buy from ground up and you select all those options, those that's it's, there's no negotiating. So here is what they've sold so far. They had two Vela, or they had a Vela and a Cielo, and they have two Arla Plan 1s available, and each month they'll release the next phase. So even though they have 20 inventory homes, some of them are not available just right now. So as you come into the primary bedroom, you have your separate toilet area with a door. I do want to point out in Vegas, it is not standard for them to have a door to the primary bathroom. It's just not common. If you do want a door, sometimes some builders will give you that option, but a lot of people will put a um, barn door or you just get used to it. Or we had yeah. drapes. Or drapes, yeah. So I really like this setup with the bathroom much better. We are tub people, so I really like having the tub and shower. They probably could have gone a little longer on this shower and put a bench. Mm -hmm. um, this looks a little short, but this is a very nice with the low threshold on the tub. I like how they kind of did the separate. Yeah, how it's. Uh, yeah, That's exactly. kind of neat. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah, it's kind of neat. Then you have the double vanities, and it looks like they have medicine cabinets, which is nice. A lot of builders have done away with medicine cabinets, so it's a nice feature to have. And this is a nice upgraded um, quartz countertops. Let's take a peek at this very nice walk in closet. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I missed anything. Um, lot sizes are, lot premiums are anywhere between 7,000 and 25,000. It is a gated community. There are two HOAs. You have the Sunstone Master Plan HOA of 55. You have Estrella HOA of 45, equaling $100 a month. And the biannually SIDS is 510. Um, so let's go check out the rest of the house and then we'll check out the backyard. I like this. This flooring is actually kind of nice. I'm not a tile type person. I like more the wood like, but they did a very nice combination here. They put these little wood uh, beams in here, which is nice. The black hardware. Usually this black hardware is also an upgrade. So when you buy new construction, I say this in all my friggin' videos and Damien's probably tired of me saying it is that the house comes fully carpeted with the exception of your wet areas, which would be your kitchen, your entry, your laundry room, and bathrooms. Everything else is carpeted. So again, where do you want to spend your money in upgrades? For me personally, I would spend money on flooring. Flooring. Mm -hmm. Flooring is the most important thing. Um, no one likes carpets here in Vegas. And if I were to have carpets, I would just keep it in the bedrooms um, because... We live in the desert. We like to have solid surface flooring. Then the next upgrades, of course, at the cabinets, I don't have to have soft clothes. That can be done in the future, but I definitely want a nice um, island. island or countertop and nice backsplash. I may not put the pendants up right away, but I want it pre-wired for pendants and I want it pre-wired all over the place for ceiling fans in every room. In this home, the community, the great room, and the primary bedroom will be pre-wired. All the other bedrooms are typically extra. And I'd also spend extra money on my can lighting. And then when you go to the design studio, you're going to have all these different uh, appliance packages, which that starts adding up. All your hardware starts adding up. All the hardware for the doors. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So that's why I'd say if a community 
has these inventory homes, I think it's smart to buy those over selecting your own options because as you can see, they give you discounts and as using a realtor, if you use me, we can see if we can get you more discounts. Mm -hmm. They do give you an incentive if you use their in-house lender where they would give you 2% of total purchase price towards your closing costs, which is nice. And you can buy down the points. You have a half bath right here. Nicely done. It's like a maze. It's locked. Yeah. And then the laundry room. And this has the shaker cabinets and um, a little area. Now, this is upgraded. When you buy new construction, your washer and dryer and your refrigerator do not come with the house. That's something that you could buy with the builder, or I highly recommend just going to Lowe's or Best Buy or Home Depot and buying it on your own. Then you have another bedroom that has its own bathroom, which is nice. Cute bedroom, good size with a queen size bed, two nightstands and a dresser. This is cute, very cute. Full bathroom with a bath. I like the stacked subway tile. Very, very cute. I like it a lot. And the same upgraded countertops with the flat, black matte, black hardware. Then you have the office right here. So let me see. It has flex space office. I don't know if this is the same thing. So that's pretty cool. I like having a little office. And then you have another bedroom here. Which all these rooms, oh my goodness, I like this. All these rooms have their own pri private bathroom. Super cute. Made it a little too girly though but it's cute. I like that there's a bathroom in all the bedrooms, mm -hmm. but I still like that other floor plan better. What do you think? The first one? Yeah. Yeah, I like the first one better. Let's go check out the backyard. I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, they've only sold four homes since they've opened two weeks ago. Again, they have four dirt lots available if you want to build from ground up, and they will be releasing, as I mentioned before, 20 inventory homes from now until July, August time frame. So each month they'll release like four of them. Nice covered patio with the pavers. Now when you buy a new construction home, the front yard is always landscaped, but the backyard is gonna be dirt. The only thing that will come with the house is the pavered backyard covered patio. Everything else is an upgrade, like this extended patio cover is an upgrade. And then um, all of this is an upgrade. So usually sometimes the builders give you a certain time frame or the HOA gives you a time frame, either six months to a year to get your backyard landscaped. So this is a decent sized lot. It looks like a pool size. You could put a pool in here if you wanted to. I like the extended covered patio. It's very nice and you have one large AC unit. And this is an upgrade obviously with the custom kitchen barbecue area thing. That's cool. You can put bar stools right here. I don't know how this would scrape your legs though. Ouch. Yeah. So anyway guys, to summarize, we're over here at Estrella at Sunstone by Woodside Homes, touring this yellow plan three at 2054 square feet, single story, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, a flex space, and a 22 foot deep two bay car garage, or you could make it into 24 feet deep. Base price starting at 479,990. This is just the base price. It does not include any lot premiums or any upgrades that you put in. So again, to me, it's better to buy what? New construction. But what? A move-in ready home. A move-in ready home is all done. All done for <laughs> you. They're not gonna nickel and dime you for this and that and this and that and that. Um, they have a design team pick out these options for you. They do a very good job. And that's where me as a realtor can get you a super duper phenomenal what? Deal. Exactly. 
All righty, what else do I need to mention? Am I forgetting anything? Like and subscribe, please. Yeah, but what's the most important thing? Uh, to reach out to Angelo Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, if you're looking to buy in Las Vegas, and you can reach her at 702-370-5112. Yay, yeah. it took him <laughs> how many months to, to learn my phone number? I'm still learning. <laughs> Just kidding. Most importantly, not only like and subscribe, I sell a lot of new construction here in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. especially in the northwest side of the valley in Summerlin. You need a real estate agent with you on your very first visit. Otherwise, I will not be able to re represent you. So it's important if you look at these model homes that you either say that Angela's, well, actually, you can't say that I'm your realtor because I need to be with you personally. You can just give them a fake name. Exactly. <laughs> Fake name. They don't or need to know. Name. Or you could say, I don't want to give you my information. I have a realtor and I want my realtor, gosh darn it, to represent me. <laughs> right? The, they're very, they're sticklers when it comes to that. Anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching my and Damien's hey. video. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.